Praise the Lord, everybody. How's everybody doing today? I pray that everybody is doing well and blessed on this day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice, brothers and sisters, and be glad in it. According to the scriptures in Psalm 118 and verse 24, one of my favorite verses of scripture, even though it may be gloomy today in my area, it is still a beautiful day because I am alive, I am well, as well as you are alive and you are well. It is well with the Lord. We are blessed to be alive one more day when many people, when we think about it, the people that did not live to see this very day, we are truly blessed, brothers and sisters. So be encouraged, brothers and sisters. I just wanted to come and give you a word from the Lord today, brothers and sisters. The Lord is good. And he is so merciful, brothers and sisters, but we must know that we will be judged on the things that we do. God is good, and it is by faith that we are saved, not by works. We should get that straight. That is absolutely correct, that we are saved by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, not by our works. Because on our best day, all of our good deeds, everything we do is like filthy rags compared to the Lord, okay? So we are like filthy rags. We can never earn our way into salvation. It is by God's grace and mercy and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ that we are saved. But on the other hand, we will be judged by our works as the word of God states, okay? So we must be careful the things we do. We must walk the straight and narrow path. We must continue to walk with the Lord and deny our flesh. Brothers and sisters, deny our flesh pick up our cross and walk with the Lord every single day because brothers and sisters let's be truthful the flesh wants what it wants the flesh wants what it wants and we must deny it it might want to smoke or drink or fornicate we must deny our flesh every single day and it is a battle you are going to face a battle with your flesh as we all do but we must deny our flesh and walk with the Lord walk the straight and narrow path not the wide road that leads to destruction, but the straight and narrow path with the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you have to walk that path alone, you walk that path alone. Because man, women, and people did not die for your sins. Jesus Christ died for your sins. And we must do what he says to do. We must walk with him. We must be obedient unto the word of the Lord. So I just wanted to come and give you a word today, brothers and sisters, how we must walk the straight and narrow path how we will be judged all of us will be judged by our works and the things that we do brothers and sisters okay and i want to tell you a verse of scripture in hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 and as it is appointed unto men once to die but after this the judgment okay after this the judgment that shows we will be judged Okay, we will be judged by the things that we do. We will be judged by our works, brothers and sisters. Another verse of scripture can be found in Revelation, Revelation, excuse me, chapter 22 at verse 12. And the word of the Lord reads, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. And that's Revelation chapter 22 at verse 12 brothers and sisters you can read these scriptures for yourself in hebrews chapter 9 and verse 27 we are appointed once to die and after this the judgment brothers and sisters so we must be we diligent in our, our walk with the lord and be careful of the things we do and we say and walk the straight and narrow path do not commit sin against the lord with our mouth even with our mouth the word of the Lord says, brothers and sisters, I have a verse of scripture that I wanted to read to you found in Matthew chapter 12 at verse 36. Okay, Matthew chapter 12 at verse 36, Matthew 12 and 36, brothers and sisters, if you have your Bibles, brothers and sisters, you can read along with me. I'm reading from the King James Version in the Bible, brothers and sisters, at Matthew chapter 12, at verse 36, and this is Jesus speaking, the words in red is what Jesus is actually speaking, okay, and the word of the Lord reads, 
But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me say that again, brothers and sisters. Matthew chapter 12 at verse 36. The Lord says, Jesus said, But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment, brothers and sisters. That is powerful. That is powerful, brothers and sisters. Don't you see? God is not playing with us. He is not playing. God is nothing to play with. Jesus is nothing to play with. He means what he says. He is loving. He is good. He is merciful, but he is nothing to play with. And he means what, his say, what he says. And his word is true, brothers and sisters, that we will be judged. Every idle word, the word of the Lord says, that men shall speak. They shall give account thereof in the day of judgment, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Glory to God, that is powerful. So you see, we must watch what we say, work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. We must walk the straight and narrow path with the Lord. It doesn't matter what people say, what this world says. Do what Jesus says to do in his word, brothers and sisters. Do what the Lord says do. Hallelujah, and you will never go wrong if you walk with the Lord because you know he is with you. He will be right there with you. Okay, brothers and sisters. And there's another verse of scripture, brothers and sisters, that is very, very powerful. I want to give you this verse of scripture also, brothers and sisters. Okay. It is found in Revelation. Excuse me, brothers and sisters. I'm just finding it in my Bible. Revelation chapter 20 and verse 11 through 15. Revelation 20 verses 11 through 15 very powerful very powerful brothers and sisters i must give you this word it is very powerful and i pray that it will bless you revelation chapter 20 verses 11 through 15 brothers and sisters praise the lord hallelujah if you read have your bibles you can read along with me brothers and sisters i'm reading from the king james version okay starting at verse 11 revelation 20 verse 11 and the word of the Lord reads, And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. And there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were open, and another book was open which is the book of life and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works and the sea gave up the dead which were in it and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them and they were judged every man according to their works and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Hallelujah. Verse 15. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Praise God for his word. Praise God for his word. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, that's Revelation chapter 20, verses 11 through 15. Please read it for yourself so you can get the, the feeling, the, the spirit behind this is when you read it for yourself. Study to show yourself approved. But brothers and sisters, this is very powerful. This tells us that we will be judged. Hallelujah. And those that were not found written in the book of life were cast into the lake of fire, brothers and sisters. God is not playing. God means what he say. His word is true, brothers and sisters. So I encourage you, I implore you, that if you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, please do it today while there is time, while God has given you space and time and grace and mercy to do it. 
because this grace is going to be lifted soon, brothers and sisters. Don't think you have all day, all time, all years ahead of you to do all these things, brothers and sisters. We don't know when we're going to take our last breath. None of us know when we're going to take our very last breath, brothers and sisters. You don't know if tomorrow is going to be your last day on this earth, if this second will be your last day. You don't know. We don't know. We do not know, brothers and sisters. That's why you must do it now. That's how good God is. He's given you time and space to do these things just by having another day alive. That is a blessing. That is God's grace and mercy over your life that he allowed you to live another day. It is so powerful, this word. Hallelujah. And God is true. His word is true. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent, as the word of God says in Numbers chapter 23, verse 19, I believe. He is not a man that he should lie. Brothers and sisters, everything the word of God says is true, and we must live by what he says, brothers and sisters. And I, I implore you that if you do not yet know the Lord Jesus Christ for yourself, that you do develop a relationship with him, that you repent of your sin, ask God to take your sin away, because time is short, brothers and sisters. You see everything going on in, these, in this world today, and it is not getting any better. Like birth pangs, it keeps getting bigger, stronger, more and more increasing, increasing as we go along, brothers and sisters. And you must turn your life over. Just give it to the Lord. If you want salvation, it is yours through Jesus Christ. Okay, and this is true. This word is true. The word of God is true that you will be judged on your works. We will all be judged on the things that we do, even the things we say. Brothers and sisters, this is serious. And this is urgent for you to come to the Lord now while you can. A lot of people did not make it to live to see this day. God bless the souls that have perished through the war and through the thing. They didn't know if it would be their last day. They didn't know when their last day would be. Those that were, were affected by mass shootings and things of that nature, they did not think that that would be their last day on the earth. And they were made unalive. You know what I'm saying. They did not know that they would not be alive to see another day. Hallelujah. But God is good that he give you one more day, another chance, brothers and sisters, to repent, to receive Lord Jesus into your heart and into your life while you still can. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you will repent, that you will heed, will heed the warning, that you will seek the Lord while he may be found because Jesus loves you. He loves you so much that he would die for your sins, be brutally crucified. Think about it. Just think on it for a minute what Jesus went through and he didn't deserve any of that. It touches my heart, the things, what, what Jesus went through for me, for a sinner like me. Just think about it. And he didn't deserve that. I deserve that. He took it for himself, what I deserve. Brothers and sisters, and then he would rise again on the third day so we could have eternal life with him. Who would do that? Nobody else would do that for you, brothers and sisters. Do you realize the depth of his love for you? I beg and I implore you today, if you have not received Jesus into your life, into your heart, that you please do it today because time is short. Tomorrow's not promised to you. God is good and he loves you, but you must come to the Lord. He's not going to make you do it. He's not going to make you just do it you have to want it you want he has you have to want him he wants you to want him he gets no glory out of a robot and him making people do things you have to want it and mean it with sincerity in your heart and you shall be saved repent and seek the lord and develop a relationship with him okay and i pray this message blesses you i pray in the name of jesus that you will be blessed and that you will be saved if you are not yet saved. And those of us that are saved, that are walking the straight and narrow, God bless you that you continue to continue walking the straight and narrow path and don't give up because time is short. And the Lord will come and rapture his church as he said he would in his word. He said he would come and he means it, that he goes away to prepare a place for us. And he, have, he is doing that, and he will come again and to receive us unto himself, as he said in his word. It is true, brothers and sisters. 
So I pray for you in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, that you be blessed, that Jesus be with you, and that you come to the Lord while you still can. Okay, brothers and sisters, so I pray this word blesses you and encourages you today, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that God will bless you. Okay, so be encouraged, be blessed, brothers and sisters, hallelujah, look up for our redemption draweth nigh, hallelujah. God is so good and he loves you so much. So I bless you. I pray that God blesses you and that everything, hallelujah, will work together for your good, I pray in Jesus' name. So until the next time we talk, brothers and sisters, have a blessed day. And remember, Jesus loves you and so do I. God bless. God bless. Amen.